G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and recently on my um, group on Facebook someone asked me, they said they've seen these tie poles in my videos and asked me about them and they said is that where you teach horses to tie up? And the answer is no, this is where I tie horses up but what, I don't, what you don't do is tie a horse to something like this to teach them to tie up. Um, you know they can pull back, hurt themselves, whatever but um, before I ever tie a horse up They've got to be able to do three things really well. They've got to be able to stand still anywhere, anytime, without you telling them to stand still. They've got to be quite happy just to hang out, whether you're riding them or leading them. If I'm leading a horse and I stop to talk to someone, they should just stand there and be happy to stand there. If I'm riding and I stop to talk to someone, they should just stand there and not feel the need to move. They need to be able to, so they need to be able to keep their feet still whenever they're left alone. They need to be pretty unflappable, which means all the desensitizing needs to be done really, really well. And they also need to be good at the groundwork to where if you put pressure on that lead rope, on that halter, they give to that pressure. That's basically my tying up program. Once you teach them all that, tie them up here and they go, I don't feel the need to move, nothing scares me, oh, I feel pressure, I'll stand here. Does that make sense? But we don't, we don't tie horses up to these things to, to teach them to tie up. And I know I do teach them to tie up here, but they already, basically they already know all the parts of tying up before I put them here. These poles of mine, they swivel. Um, another good thing about, so you know, those horses can, can move around here. Another good thing about these tie poles is if a horse needs to move around, they want to move around, when they walk over here and it turns their head, it makes them disengage behind. It puts them in that, in that passive mode instead of that, you know, they're not pushing off with both hind feet. Um, you know, a lot of people say, I couldn't tie my horse up for two hours. That's, that's terrible. But those same people will ask me a question. Well, I went for a ride and I took my horse to a show the other day and it was two hours in the trailer and he poured the whole way. How do I fix that? If your horse cannot stand tied here, totally quiet for two hours, I guarantee he can't stand totally quiet in that trailer for two hours. So basically the whole trailer loading thing, there's two parts to that. One is teaching them how to want to get in the trailer and be happy being in the trailer. The other part is being able to stand tied for extended periods of time. Once they can do both of those really well, if you put them together, it shouldn't be a big problem. Uh, there was another question someone had too. Um, well, you know, that's what it was. You can't expect a horse to stand tied up for that long. Drive around the countryside and have a look out in the out in the paddock somewhere you'll see a horse stand under a tree there like this if you have a horse in a box stall walk down there five times a day and you'll notice your horse is standing perfectly still in that stall so if they can stand perfectly still on their own there's no reason they can't stand perfectly still for us so anyway that's a bit of information about my tie poles and why i tend to tie horses up quite a bit i uh, hope that helps see you guys next time